Okay, this example says find the arc length of a graph of ln of cosine of x on the interval 0 to pi over 4 and round your answer to three decimal places. So in this case, they gave us y and we didn't have to figure anything out. But in order for us to apply the arc length formula, we do have to have y prime. So we do need to take the de derivative of this. And the derivative of ln of of a natural log is 1 over the original argument times the derivative of that argument, which is negative sine x. So we end up with negative sine x over cosine x, which is the same as saying negative of tangent x. Okay. Now we do have to square y prime and eventually add 1. So if I square negative 10x, you end up with just 10 squared x. And if I add one, we get one plus 10 squared x. Now, I'm going to use a formula sheet that I had from the book. I believe if you look in your ebook, you should be able to find this as well but it has your trig formulas on one side and then it has your derivatives and your integration rules on the other side. Um, some students choose to make a copy of this or print it out and then have that as their note sheet. Most people just make their own note sheet. Um, but if you notice here, there we go. Nope, that's not the one I wanted. Here we go, Pythagorean identities. Notice that one plus 10 squared is actually equal to the secant squared. So when I go to use the formula, I'm going to have my arc length is from 0 to pi over 4 of the square root of 1 plus y prime squared, which is secant squared. And then the square root and the square will undo each other, leaving me with the integral of secant x dx. And the integral of secant x is... Here it is, it's number 10. It is the natural log of secant x plus 10x. And then it has a plus c here, but since I have something to evaluate, I'm going to evaluate it from 0 to pi over 4. So we get the ln of secant of pi over 4, which is 1 over cosine of pi over 4 plus tangent, which is sine of pi over 4 over cosine of pi over 4, minus the ln of 1 over cosine of 0 plus sine of 0 over cosine of 0. Now let's see. Um, cosine of pi over 4 is one over the square root of two over two, sine of pi over four is the square root of two over two and square root of two over two, cosine of zero is one, sine of zero is zero. So you take the reciprocal of this, you get 2 over the square root of 2 plus 1 minus ln of 1 because this is just 0 and the ln of 1 is just 0. So we end up with, let's see here, if I get a common denominator And then if I rationalize that denominator, I end up reducing, I get square root of two plus one. So if I type that in my calculator, ln 
of the square root of 2 plus 1, I end up with 0 0.881, if I round it to three decimal places.